Hello, my dear class 10 students. Uh, today we are going to start the chapter life processes. That is your uh, chapter 6 in NCRT and first chapter of bio. Uh, so, life processes uh, meaning it is it, uh, basic functions of life performed by all living organisms. We know what is life. Life is a complex organization of uh, molecules which are performing some basic functions. They are the, those molecules are the part of uh, cytoplasm or protoplasm. They are present in the nucleus. They are present in the cytoplasm. Right. So they are for performing some complex functions in the body and those functions are called life processes. So we will see there are six points are written on the board. These six points are nutrition, respiration, transport, excretion, response to stimulus and multiplication. These are the some basic functions which are performed by uh, bodies of all living organisms and they all are absent in non-living things. So we will see one by one what is nutrition. We know all animals eat food. And after eating food, that food is digested with the help of digestive system and then transported to all cells of the body with the help of transport system. And in the cells, it is utilized for the synthesis of new protoplasm. That entire process from intake to utilization of those uh, digested food substances uh, in the body is called nutrition. In case of uh, animals, they, they take food, eat food and they take food from the other sources like from plants and from other animals. But in case of plants, the food, they are preparing their own food uh, by the process of photosynthesis and glucose is the product that glucose is transported and utilized for getting energy and to carry out other life processes in their uh, lifetime. Then we have another uh, process that is respiration. What, what, what is the need of respiration in living organism? It is to take oxygen. What is the need of oxygen? Oxygen breaks down glucose into carbon dioxide and water a large amount of energy is released. So what is the need of respiration in living organisms? They oxidize uh, glucose with the help of oxygen and they derive energy. This energy is the uh, most important thing which without which any life form cannot perform any function of its body. Any type of function like all bio, uh, uh, biochemical processes going on in the cells, movement to carry out various activities during the daytime or even when you are sleeping, your mind is working, your all internal organs are working. So energy is required and energy we obtain with the help of uh, respiration. Transport. What do we mean by transport? Transportation system. In plants and animals, it is different. In case of animals, we can say this transport system is circulatory system. This circulatory system consists of body fluids like blood, lymph, organs like heart, vessels like arteries, veins and capillaries in higher organisms and in lower, organ lower animals. They have a, a simple system like water vascular system etc. So circulatory system that is for the transport of uh, digested material. Nutrition is dependent on transport system because whatever food is digested in the intestine that has to be transported to each cell of the body. So that transport cannot take place without transportation system. So in this way we can say nutrition is dependent on transport or on the circulatory system. In case of plants, this transport system is composed of xylem and phloem that you have done in class 9 tissue tissues chapter phloem and xylem they are called vascular tissues because these tissues help xylem in the transport of water and minerals and phloem helps in the translocation of food what is food glucose which is converted into sugars and then transported to all parts of the plant body so transport system is important 
for the transportation of materials from one to other part of the body. Respiration that is also dependent on transport because when we inhale oxygen from lungs, oxygen has to be transported to all cells of the body. So again transport system that is blood will transport it and from the cells CO2 uh, is transported to the lungs for exhalation. That means our two systems nutrition and respiration are dependent on transport system for the transport of materials in the body. Now excretion. What is excretion? All living organisms they uh, have biochemical reactions in their cells. Metabolism we can say some anabolic reactions mean synthesis reactions takes place like glucose synthesis. And some catabolic reactions like breakdown reactions take place like uh, uh, breakdown of glucose to release energy, digestion of food is a breakdown reaction. So after these uh, uh, some chemical reactions, some waste materials are produced which are undesirable and which cannot be retained in the body. So such materials has to be removed immediately from the body and that is called excretion. Again transport system helps in the removal of those waste from different cells of the body in animals as well as in case of, uh, in case of plants. They are storing them in different parts of their body. Now, response to stimulus. Response means any uh, reaction of the living organism. Stimulus means any change in the surrounding. If there is any change in the surrounding, living organisms will definitely respond to it, will give reaction to it. That is called response to stimulus. And it is a characteristic feature of living organisms. It is with the help of nervous system in case of animals and in case of plants there are some chemical or electro uh, mechanical responses created in different parts. Multiplication is another feature of the life forms that multiplication we simply call it reproduction. All living organisms produce young ones of their own kind with the help of sexual or asexual reproduction method. So in this chapter life processes we will see these four parts nutrition, respiration, transport and excretion uh, with the help of different lectures. Nervous system and reproduction are two different chapters of in NCRT that we will see separately. So uh, with this video you learn these points and from the next prepare your notes and from the next video we will take e one by one uh, each type process, modes of nutrition and their explanation. Thank you.